everybody and welcome to this video where I just woke up and I'm having a cup of coffee. I've been thinking a lot about creation and art and writing and painting and the whole thing. A lot of this is because, and maybe I'm going to answer my own questions and having this stream of conscious talk about how your art how my art, how all of our art is not good, okay? It just isn't. Your art is shit, and my art is shit, and all of our art is shit, and that's okay. Our job is not to create perfection, or else we would be called perfectionists, but we're not. We're called artists. We're called creators. We're called painters. We're called writers. We're called poets. Okay? Our shit is not supposed to be good. Just like you have flaws, I have flaws. We all have baggage, because you need baggage to fly somewhere. Am I right, guys? We all have these things, and these are the things that make us us. And when you try, and you, a lot of you are going to argue this with me, but when you over-edit your fucking poems, when you can never finish a painting and you're like constantly going back and like doing more stuff to it and constantly doing more stuff to it, and like months and months go by and you're still working on it, you're basically like, it, that's like the equivalent of you like going to get plastic surgery. Like you just, you don't like your face, I want it cut up and fixed. Like, that's the equivalent of you, like, getting liposuction or getting a, a tattoo removed or, I don't know, like, getting your hair dyed some ridiculous color just because you, you, you need to feel something different. Now, some of you might be saying, this is not true. This is not a, a good analogy, but it is. You put yourself onto paper, onto the canvas. You put yourself there, okay? And then for some reason, you don't think it's good enough. You don't think it's good enough, not because you don't think it's good enough, but because you feel like people have told you that you're not good enough. You're, you're comparing yourself to other people, other artists, other people you admire. You're constantly doing all of these things which is just telling you that you're not good enough, you're not good enough, you're not good enough. And then the, the brilliant thing about this is, is that that you not being good enough, that is your voice. Like when you create an imperfect piece of art, you are the only person who could put those imperfections into that art. That's what makes it yours. You are the imperfections making art. The only thing that was perfect was that blank sheet of paper, was that blank canvas. That was a perfectly blank something. And you being imperfect fucked that whole thing up. And you made it all fucking stupid and weird. Okay? The next thing that we come to here is once you do that thing... That doesn't belong to you anymore. That poem is not your poem anymore. That painting is not your painting anymore. That drawing is not your drawing anymore. You finished it. You did it. Now it belongs to the viewer, the consumer, whoever the hell is going to consume your art. That's who that belongs to now. You don't have a fucking say and how someone likes it, how someone looks at it, what someone thinks about it. I've heard a lot of people too, and it's happened to me too, where, and like Jeff just did this to me the other day, that um, painting on the floor that you can't see because that bag's in the way. I said, I feel like I need to do something else to it, but I don't know. I'm like, maybe I should just like shit right here in the corner or something. And then Jeff's like, don't you dare, that thing's done. That's finished. Okay, so Jeff saw something I did and he consumed it and said, that's good. It doesn't matter what I say. 
okay? I did something, and again, a lot of you ask, and this happens all the time, how do you know when something's finished? How do you know when your poem's done? How do you know when your painting's done? How do you know when that song's finished? How do you know? What is the thing that happens? All art, creating any art, is a very spiritual thing. And if you don't believe that, fuck yourself, okay? Or just like come with us for just a minute and let's just pretend that we live in a world where art is spiritual, okay? Let's just fucking pretend, okay? And that the thing you create, the energy you're putting into something, there is a transference of energy and like power and emotion and all sorts of stuff, okay? And your energy is now living inside this piece. And that piece is going to resonate with people who match that vibration. Okay, let's just pretend all of this shit. Okay? Once you are in that fucking, like, realm, your work will tell you when it's done. Your work will say... Stop. Like this one here. That told me when to stop. All of these told me when to stop. The one down here, I wasn't sure about. Jeff told me when to stop. <laughs> you will know when something's done because you will do this, okay? You're working. You're typing. You're doing your thing. And then you will go like this. You will, like, take this weird breath. There will be this weird, like, it's not necessarily a sigh, but it's like your body, like, regenerating energy now or something. You know, it's just like a... And when you do this, your body backs away from the thing you're working on. Okay, like you don't know that this is happening, but like all of this other shit that we're talking about that you're pretending isn't real, all this other shit knows what's happening. Okay, and that is like your art pushing you back and saying, fuck off, stop, stop touching me, stop, no means no. Okay, that's what that is. You're done. You do the and you back up, you're done. Listen to your body. Listen to the energy going on between you and your peace. Okay? That's a real fucking thing. But you have to be, like, in it. It's so hard when we're, like, covered with distractions and there's so much shit going on around us. And we're not listening to our art. We're not feeling what we are putting in and feeling what, we were, what we're getting back. Our art, as we create it, gives us feedback. It tells us. Because all of this, it's just you putting your imperfections down perfectly on something. Okay? And why is it perfect? Because you did it. And nobody else can do that. It's not perfect because it's better than somebody else's thing. It's perfect because no one else can do what you just did. Do you understand? There is no perfection in art. Every piece of art is shit. And then when people view it, some may like it, some may not. Some may fall in love with it. Some may cry at the sight of it. And others may walk by it indifferently. That's okay. Because every single piece of art 
operates on levels of vibration and is looking for people to match that vibration. That's what all this is. Some people say art is not art until somebody consumes it as a viewer, as a spectator. Some people say a poem isn't a poem until it's been published. Some people say all of this stuff, okay? Everyone has a fucking saying, and I'm gonna give you another one right now. Everything is whatever you want it to be the second you want it to be that thing. Don't worry about any of this stuff. Your art is shit. Nobody cares. Some people will love it. Some people will like be transformed by the things you make. But understand that you being an artist is about you creating. That is the art. When you create the thing, the act of creation is the art, okay? If you make a hundred paintings, if you write a thousand poems, but like a hundred of those, 50 of those, 10 of those are the things that people like gravitate towards until the end of time. That's all you needed to do. But you, what edifies you is you making the fucking thing. It doesn't matter if anybody ever buys anything you make. Okay? It's the creation that is the art. All of this other shit, all of this other stuff where people are saying, this is art, this isn't art, that's a poem, that's not a poem. This is like, okay, and this isn't. All of that shit, that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean shit. Any fucking person who wants to objectively look at art in any form is very insecure and has small dick energy. Like we've talked about this before, guys. These are the same people who probably want a car that's really loud. These are the same people who've never been told no. These are the same people whose wives actually despise hearing the sound of their voice. For fuck's sake. Anyway, um, this was a good Saturday talk. A Saturday topless talk. I should do this every week. Get naked and spout some fucking shit, right? If you like this... Join the crew. Hit the join button down below. And on any tier, you get daily live streams. Um, except for Saturday, obviously. Um, and then uh, Tuesday nights, we have our writing Zooms with writing prompts and all that stuff. And I'm really curious to see what you guys would like me to do more of. Especially for members. Like, you guys are supporting me. I appreciate you. So what can I do more of that you would like within reason? Come on, guys. I'm only one fucking man. Join the crew down below. Go pick up my books on Amazon. And then two, my um, chat books, the ones for this month, Anxious Anxiety on the Beach, and then the one copy of Type Daily, plus The End of Everything and Winner Your Mom's Sodomy Prize for Poetry. If you want these books, they are limited. I seriously thought I already sold out of some of them, but um, I'm, I'm waiting on the actual payment to come through. <laughs> you know who you are, people. Okay, so with that said, type hard, everybody. Your art is shit, and that's okay. Your art is shit, and so are you. And that's why we love you. Everything's going to be okay. Okay, and I will talk to you all later.